So lately I've experimented with this camera setting, which gave me results like this one right here. This animation was created with only one camera trick, no complex geometry nodes or simulations. It can also give you new perspectives on your 3D scene and create effects like this one right here. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. It's this setting right here, changing your lens type from perspective to panoramic. Now normally this setting is used to create 360 degrees images for evil digital realities so that big tech companies have control over you. But that's not what we're doing today. So now we can see that we have some kind of mirror ball. So let's set the field of view to 360 degrees to fill out all of the edges. And this gives us this very interesting distorted perspective. You can also increase the number next to lens to control how strong the distortion is. You have to type in a number to get beyond 15. And that's basically it on how to get this lens distortion effect in Blender. But there's more. You can see that there are different panoramic types to choose from. The one that is the most interesting to us is the equal rectangular type, which gives us this 360 degree image that we know from HDRIs. You can for example set the latitude to zero, which gives you this Netflix intro. But let me show you how you use this technique to create this animation here. The tutorial will start in 3. Two. Add a plane. Add a hair particle system to it. Turbulence force field. Increase the resolution of the hair. Adjust scale of the turbulence. Convert hair to mesh. Extrude. Add a solidifier modifier. Duplicate. Change the shape of the mesh. Rotate. Duplicate it more. Go inside the wires. Add in a camera. Snap the camera to the view with Control alt 0 Set the camera to panoramic. Change the clip start of the lens. Duplicate the object some more. Now we already got some abstract cool shit going on. Add in a light. Add a color to the light. So now you can see that if you move your camera through the scene, it creates this really cool abstract animation. So if this was too fast for all of you morons, I will also create create a step-by-step -step guide version of this tutorial. If you want to know how I create a complex VFX green screenshot like this one right here, I created a detailed course that explains the whole process from keying to creating the environment, matching your 3D scene with your actual footage and merging everything together in the free Fusion VFX compositor. And don't worry, the whole course is a lot slower paced than my YouTube tutorials and the whole course will be about an hour long. The course is available on Gumroad and Patreon. It is also in early access right now, which means you can use the discount code early access to get 25% off for a limited amount of time. So check out the link in the description.